Fountain's going to lead us. We've got some uh, heavy bags. I'm really not sure what he's got in store, but I have great confidence we're going to have some fun. Make sure that you stretch first. Uh, don't hyperextend the knee. Don't tear up the hamstring or any of the connective tissue. Go at your own pace. Those are uh, very important things. I'm sure you're going to warm us up. So a warm muscle will be more pliant. We want to keep that in mind. Uh, so at this point, wait, wait. we've got uh, Mr. Fountain here, and Jennifer wants us to make some other additional announcements. So um, let's see. First and foremost, no group fitness really going on at this time, but very soon, keep, uh, keep posted, watch the Facebook page. We are doing personal training and private lessons, so if you want a private lesson in martial arts and self-defense, if you want uh, personal training for weight loss, for fitness, for overall um, health, let us know. We'd be glad to do those things for us. Yes. There you go. All right. I think I've been reminded of everything. Now, Mr. Fountain, have the ball. Sounds good. <laughs> By the way, we are not going to be having music because Facebook doesn't like it when we uh, have music in the background. They tend to, you know, uh, block everything out. I think we can do that as long as we make a, a, a notation that this is not our music. We're just going to leave the music out for the time being and go from there. Please play your own music if it helps you during the workout. Um, you can't get flagged for that because you're not alive. Like you are. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our hands on our hips and do neck rotations. All right. Mr. Fountain, should we sing while we're doing neck rotation? Will that sure. help? Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to make a recording of your own music so that we would have some full fountain music. Yes, very soon. Other way around. So for those of you that don't know, Mr. Full Fountain has a band. They are amazing, and he's going to do some arm circles. Cool stuff for us. Yes. <coughs> Other way around. Or sing us some uh, songs that he has to play in our D&D game. Yes. I've already written the lyrics. Just got to get the song part going. Arm crosses. Yeah, we can't play at the bars yet or the restaurants, but we can play at your parties. <laughs> oh, if you like, have like a graduation party and you like classic rock, please. Let me know. I'd love to play. All right, we're going to grab our hands, stretch all the way up, and push your hips forward, and breathe out. Oh, good grief. So tight. All right. Keep your arms straight, and we're going to take a deep breath in, and as we breathe out, touch your toes. <coughs> oh, yeah. You're all looking good. Keep breathing. Let me go stand in prayer. Oh. Now what we're going to do is bend our knees, grab our toes, slowly straighten out our legs. <clears throat> and <clears throat> All right, now we're going to do a squat down. All right. This is important for our hips, and I can feel it in my feet, my lower half of my legs. All right. We're going to do the Jeff Faber, we're going to do the pickle barrels. Hands on our hips, and pickle barrel. And the other way. All right. Let's get our heart rate up just a little bit higher so when we're doing these kicks, we lessen the risk of injury. Okay, so we're going to do jumping jacks. We're going to do 20 of those. Okay? And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Okay. The cool part about these drills that we're going to do is there's modifiers for them. Okay. So the first one we're going to do is an active stretch. We're going to keep our legs straight, and it's almost like we're kicking, but we're not going to bend at the knee. We're just going to keep it straight. Okay. We're going to do it five times about your belt level, and then five times as high as you can go, okay? So hands up, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Now as high as you can, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch feet. 
Hands up, ready to go, and one, two, three, four, five. High as you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So when we go to kick, the biggest part of doing that to make sure you have a good technique and you kick strong is your balance. Okay, so we are going to go to the wall. Uh, this is something that anybody at home can do because everybody's got a wall. So we're going to put our backs against the wall. Okay. Now we're going to build our leg strength and work on our balance. We're going to practice the front kick. So our knee comes up just like this. We're going to pull our toes back and extend our leg. We're going to hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And back. All right, switch legs. Knees up, toes pull back. You don't have to kick as high as you can as long as you straighten your leg and your toes pull back. And again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, y'all looking good. One more time on each side. Okay? Knees up and begin. One, two, three, four, five. I'm liking it. Other side and begin. One, two, three, four, five. All right, looking good. What we're going to do now is turn our bodies to the side. So our belly button should be facing towards the wall to your left. Hands on the wall. We're going to pre-pivot, which means that our supporting leg, the toes are going to point towards the wall. So our hands are up. Your knee comes up. We're going to do a slow side kick this time. Okay? So knee in and go. One, two, three, four, five. Looking good. Switch sides. Remember your toes point towards the wall. Your hands up. You're looking at your target. Knee up and in. One, two, three, four, five. I like it. Other side. One more time each side. And the wall. Toes towards the wall. Now, you don't have to kick as high as your belt or your hip. You can kick towards the knee level as long as you're doing the right technique. Your leg is straight. Okay? Hands up. Knee up. And go.
so there's a lot of benefits that comes to that. We're going to come back to the wall. Our hands on the wall, we've already done our stretches. We just really want to work on that leg balance, okay? So our legs are going to be straight, and I'm going to demonstrate for you guys really quick. So our legs are straight. All I want you to do is bob it up and down, just like that, okay? So almost like we're painting a wall with our foot. We're going to hold it for about seven seconds. Okay, so hands up, knee up, and extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Woo! Other side. Hands up. And knee up, and go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome job. Now we're going to do that same drill, except it being up and down, we're going to make a circle. Okay, this is going to open up our hip joints and strengthen that area right there. So let me demonstrate. Hands up, legs straight. We're going to make a circle, just like that. Okay? It doesn't matter if you go outward or inward. So you can do it either way. As long as you're making a circle with your foot, that's going to work on that hip joint there. Remember, you don't have to keep belt high. You can Kick towards the knee as long as you're doing it right. Okay? And so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. Hands up. Knee up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Man, that's one of my favorite wall drills because everybody has a wall. At home, so that's one of my favorites to do. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next kick, which is a round kick. Alright? So we're gonna find a new dummy. Everybody's gonna rotate to the left. With the round kick, we lift our knee, we're gonna pivot our foot and turn our hips so we can kick with our shin there, okay? Everybody tap their shins just like that. This is the part that we're striking with, okay? For self defense purposes, you don't have to kick someone on the head to stop them from attacking you. You can round kick to the leg, and that's a very debilitating technique, okay? We're going to do that 10 times on each side, just like we did with every other kick. Hands up. All right. 10 times each side. So 
Grab each other's hands for support. I'm going to go three levels. Okay? So one level goes to her legs, one level goes medium, and then one level goes to the head. Okay? If you can't go to the head, that's all right. You can go low, medium, and then as high as you can go. Okay? If you can't kick to the belt level, that's okay. You can kick low two times and then as high as you can go. Okay? If you've got a rail that you can grab onto, preferably something that's strong, uh, this is a good panel for that. But we've got partners, so we're going to spread out. And we're going to do that two times on each leg. Okay? All right. So hands are up here, two times on each leg, and then we'll switch partners. Okay? And begin. Yeah. <laughs> 
cool, very fun. We're going to take it up to the next level now. Um, <clears throat> instead of actually just standing um, you know, in a comfortable space in your home, I want you to go back to the wall. This one's just a little bit tougher. Instead of our toes pointing up this time, we're actually going to turn our foot to the side like we're doing a side kick and then make our figure eights. Okay? Anybody want to be my partner with the gloves? Yes. All right. Yes, I mean, I'll be your partner. This time. Sweet. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you from a side view really quick so that way we understand. Mr. Robinson's going to hold the gloves up and down this way. Okay? So my kick starts right in the middle, and then I'm going to go around my figure eight, and then I'm going to bring my foot back. I'm going to do it again. Figure eight. Sweet. Okay. Try not to drop your leg. We're going to do that three times. Okay. <laughs> Remember, you can adjust for your partner. You don't have to hold it. Your head high. Talk to your partner. No. Uh, adjust as you see fit. All right. Hand to the wall. Here it is. Three times. All by yourself, how do you suggest doing these kicking drills? Okay, so uh, if you had a rail uh, somewhere in your house, maybe uh, in the restroom, or maybe even a kitchen counter, um, just place your hand on the kitchen counter or hand on the wall, and that's going to give you the support you need to find the balance to do these uh, kicking drills. Okay, what we're going to do now is finish with a combination kick. Uh, we're going to put two kicks together what we practiced today. Uh, and just a really strong finish, uh, so that way we really top off this workout really strong, okay? So we're going to go back to the dummies that we started with in the beginning. Here we go. Okay, so with our hands up, our front leg is going to front kick, and our back leg is going to round kick, okay? We're going to do that ten times on each side, all right? So here's one, here's two. Two kicks counts as one, okay? Think about switching your legs once you get to your halfway point, okay? And begin. One. Our cool off mode, controlling our heart rate. 
breathe with our breath. All right, bend your knees, grab your toes, and straighten out your legs. And breathe. Oh, yeah. All right, squat down. Yeah. Try and pull your knees apart. And put your hips forward. Go ahead and take a seat. Okay, so after any workout, whether it be your arm workout, core workout, we really want to make sure we're doing a stretch afterwards so we don't uh, dislike ourselves and maybe a day or two later. Uh, you will feel it. So your heel coming towards your belly button. Use your elbows, push your knees down, and you're breathing. So this is the butterfly stretch. Go ahead and grab your toes. We're going to bring our nose to the ground. Relax. All right. Flap your wings. Keep the blood flow going. Okay. Your right leg's going to come out. Other leg's going to stay tucked in. Your toes are going to pull back. Your left arm's going to reach towards your right leg. And we're breathing. Facebook at toe-to-toe-ma, as in Mike Alpa, 
or martial arts. That's our uh, handle, and you guys can find us there. You can see most of these uh, videos there. Final comments? Guys, if you want to learn martial arts, you want to work on your self-defense, we are ready. I mean, chomping at the bits to do that. We'll be making an announcement soon for group fitness. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys Tuesday. Yes. See ya. So again, Jeff's asking us about kettlebell classes. Again, kettlebell class and other group fitness classes, um, we have authorization to start them immediately, but the distance is so great, 12 feet in between each other, it would be difficult to have a reasonable size class. I think I could probably get maybe three people or on, on the front row, I might do three more people, and total is six, that's a small group fitness class. We're thinking we're gonna wait just another week or so. We think something's gonna drop. Yeah. End of the month, uh -huh. there's gonna be, I think there's going to be another announcement. So guys, for Kettlebell and other group fitness, um, stay tuned. By the way, Miss Tamir Wells is already building her class for Mixed Fit. So if you guys want to do that super cool dancing stuff she's doing, and it's aerobic, it's cardio, it's a HIIT training kind of a drill, uh, I love it. She's doing it on Zoom right now. Yep, she's still doing it on Zoom right now. So you guys can uh, let us know who you are. We'll send you directly to Miss Tamir Wells, and she'll help you out. Take care, guys. Bye. See you.